Hey, welcome back. In the last video up above, I showed you why XDR matters. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up XDR with Microsoft 365 Defender. So I'm gonna spin up a trial tenant and I'm gonna show you how to get this set up and enabled. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna sign up for a trial subscription and we will get this upgraded to the appropriate licensing in just a moment. But let me pause the video and get this set up and we'll come back. Okay, now that the trial tenant's created, we need to make sure we have the appropriate licensing. I'll put a link in the video description, but I need to make sure I have the right licenses for this to work. And so because I wanna feed all of the uh, products into Microsoft 365 Defender, I'm just gonna sign up for E5 to be able to do this. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just gonna buy, go ahead and buy my uh, license for Microsoft 365 E5. Okay, now that I have the appropriate license, I'm gonna go ahead and browse out to security.microsoft.com. That's the new unified portal. In other words, this is where Microsoft 365 Defender lives. Now, Microsoft 365 Defender has to be enabled. It's not enabled by default. So if you browse over here to settings and then find Microsoft 365 Defender, zoom in a little bit, you will see this. Now remember, this is the first time that I'm doing this with a brand new tenant. So it's gonna take a few moments here for this to load in. While this is loading, make sure you're a global admin when you go to sign in to be able to enable this. Okay, once it's finished, you will see a screen like this, letting you know where the data is gonna be stored. That's based on your tenant location. And then clicking on preview features, you can see that uh, preview features are enabled. So at this point, Microsoft 365 Defender is enabled. That's it. Hey, that was pretty easy and it only took a matter of minutes. So next we need to deploy those child products I talked about in the previous video and then enable things like portal redirection. So in the next video, we'll talk about just that. Okay, hey, if you found value, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.